I've seen a lot of horror movies. As soon as I sit on that, the giant spider, mummy, troll, or Freddy Krueger is gonna grab my butthole. Can I hold it? Hajime! Alright, so this last week I got to do one of my favorite things that I get to do is I got to do a Team Hoot pole vault camp. I had the pole vault camp in Athens, Wisconsin. So I packed the essentials. Started my three hour drive and tried to keep myself as entertained as I could. So I'm driving there and I just assumed school would get out at like 2 o'clock. But I got there at like noon so I was two hours early but as I was driving into Athens which is a pretty small town, they had a park and I'm like, I dig parks, let's go check it out. Not welcoming enough? <laughs> that sign welcomes me more. So if you know me, I'm super curious and I explored the park. That tasted like pennies. Yeah, I can't do it. Let's do this. Is there anything in there? So I get to the school and I immediately called Ken Kraft because he was the guy I was staying with and hooked me up with this um, this gig, I guess you could say. Hey, Ken, I'm at the school. What do you want me to do? You should go ring the doorbell and see if they let you in. So this school has a doorbell so they don't let creepers in. To try and keep creepers out without allowing them to let creepers in. So I ring the doorbell. Ding dong. The lady goes, Uh, hi, we don't recognize you. What are you here for? Um, po pole vaulters. I'm coach pole vault guy. Okay. Just a little disclaimer, I don't know if she really did this, but this is how happy she sounded. I know you! You're Sean Francis! Don't know if she was really clapping or not. She sounded so pumped and happy that I just pictured Buddy the Elf. Hi! Hey. Do you remember me? I do, I didn't recognize you. I know, I did work close. I just love this place. It's got that like small little cool vibe. Everybody knows each other. The head principal is a men's and women's track coach, Shelly. She's phenomenal. I just I fell in love with this place instantly. And then Ken Kraft showed up, so I finally got to meet him. 
Okay, a little bit of info on Coach Kraft. One, he only pole vaulted one day in high school a long time ago. He didn't like it because he landed on the metal crossbar and was like, ow, nope, done. He's been a speech therapist for 30 years, helping hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of kids, and I, it took me a while, but I kind of coaxed some of these stories out of him, and they were very inspirational. He's a mountain biker, kayaker, a road biker, just everything in life he does, he just experiences life. Let's put it this way. Ken told me his dad one time was like, You know, you did a lot of really cool things in your life. And he's like, yeah, I've always had this problem saying no to people. And so my buddy got me a shirt that said no on it to kind of help me remind, remind myself to say no. And he's like, Every time I look down, it just said on. <laughs> That's the kind of guy Ken Kraft is. And it's one of those guys you like aspire to be like. The story that sold me instantly it was one of the first stories he told me he's like we have a pole vault box in the gym but funny story about this box there was an old coach here who just one day was like i'm gonna make a pole vault box so he went in drilled a huge hole in the basketball court and put in a planting box <laughs> i just picture him with a chainsaw like me build a pole vault box 20 years later however long it was the box is still there so moral of the story it's better to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission because now they have a pole vault box indoors <laughs> First day we got the gym and there were like three high school kids and like 10 to 15 middle school kids. So most of the footage you guys are going to see are middle school kids, which is unbelievable. I've never seen so many middle school kids off the pole vault before. And all we did the first day was I just was like, I want your top arm to be locked and straight. I don't want to see your elbow prior to the tip hitting the back of the box. And then from there we just worked on posture and energy transfer. That's it. That's all we did for the first day. Day two. We just got this brand new Richie pin. This Richie is awesome. And I just set it up for him. And then we're gonna pull jump. Yesterday we did a lot of drills. Today, actual pole vault. She's not a pole vaulter, but she's the first one running. Kinda started with the same progressions and then slowly progressed to adding speed. Speed is the enemy of technique. Maybe got back to four or five max because speed is the enemy of technique. That's how it goes, and that's pole vault, and that's learning and practicing. Yeah. Hey, that worked, right? Nice, you got some air too. That was way more fun. Yeah, you were counting again. I can tell, right? Yes. I just love Team Hood Camps. They were so much fun, and the kids are so awesome. I love Athens. I would go back in a heartbeat. <laughs> so nice. Like Buddy the Elf lady. <laughs> I hope she doesn't see this and get mad at me. <laughs> she was phenomenal and made my week. Yeah, it was great. I loved it. And that was Team Hoot Camp. So if you want, to, want me to come do a Team Hoot Camp with you, just go to my website and let me know. I'd be happy to. I love doing them. Before we go, one, the new Team Hoot website is up. I changed it. Let me know if you like it. If you don't, I still have the old one. Me and my mom decided to do a 30 day challenge. For 30 days, we are gonna be vegan But I'm gonna create a blog. We are gonna go 100% clean, healthy eating with our little rule stipulations. So if you guys want in on this too, and you wanna blog and keep track with us, do it. It'll be really fun. That starts tomorrow. I'm kinda nervous. Next week, back to rants. I'll do all the, the usual stuff you've been seeing. I haven't written training yet. I need to do that yet today. Shame on you. For the people who have already sent me Team Hoot philosophies, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you guys want some cool Team Hoot stuff, I'm going to be giving away like three or four free shirts and I'll just draw names out of a hat. Like unique, one of a kind Team Hoot shirts. Just read the Team Hoot philosophy. Make sure your camera is this way. That's my only stipulation, not the tall way. And just send me you reading it. And that's it. Piece of cake. That's it, okay, bye. Boom. I thought a long time about what I wanted to do for the 100th vlog. And uh, it's kind of a hard choice. So I'm just gonna tell you a story. Hope that works. Here we go. Because it's so impro improbable and so impossible, I'd just like to really see how long I could last as being really here, you know, really in it, really alive in the moment, you know. I had a therapist once ask me, when are you the happiest? I couldn't answer the question right away. 
So I made a list. 